Hi guys, Neff here, and today I got something a little different for you than a lock that we're going to pick. Uh, I've been waiting for this package for over two months, 60 days in transit with no updates, and it just happened to show up at my door. This is from a guy named Moon out in Germany. Really good guy. Uh, I've actually been working on this order since February with him, and uh, finally, finally made it, and I'm just so excited. I thought maybe we would do the unboxing on video. So... This package is, I believe, six kilos, which uh, for us in the U.S. here, that is going to be over 12 pounds. So let's get it open and see what we got. Should be some really fun stuff. I'm not very good with uh, being nice to packages, so let's just rip her on open. Here we go. All right. So there are some items in here that came for another gentleman as well, but we're gonna go ahead and look through it, no problem. So this is Tom Lock CL. So we have a challenge lock in here, which I don't know if I even really talked about that with him. I can't really remember, it's been so dang long. So here we go. He might have even picked this one on camera, I'm not sure, but there we go. I am excited to do that. So I'm going to put that back in there so that I can keep track of what I got. Repack. So that is the Tom Lock Challenge Lock. Uh oh, we have a padlock in here. What do we got? We've got an Eva. It looks like... Let me see if I can see it down the camera lens here. Those look like regular pins. I can't tell if those are sliders yet or not, but that looks like an EVA, like EPS pin tumbler. Maybe a DPI slider. I know I've got some slider locks in here, so I'm gonna start trying to get some more stuff out of here. He's got this thing packed up tight, all kinds of good stuff. EPSM, let's see what this is. And I believe everything I've got here, at least almost everything, has keys, but those will probably be packed separately. So there's the EPSM. That is the pin tumbler for sure. So nice little double euro there. What else we got here? I don't see any writing on this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, 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 you know what this is? This is a... Uh, a quattro, what, what's what's the quattro called? I'm trying to remember the name of it, the Kaba, Kaba. Yeah, Kaba Quattro, it's a keyless one. One of the only keyless things in here, if I'm not mistaken, and it's just a switch lock. He happened to get uh, a decent amount of these, and I said, oh yeah, you're gonna have to throw one of those in there. So, got a Kaba Quattro switch lock. That one was for me. Some of the stuff in here I got truly with the uh, intention to resell to get them to some American, uh, some U.S. pickers. There's uh, some Haribo gold bears in uh, German. Appreciate that, Moon. Thanks much. Let's see what we got next. This is the Isio Gear Lock. Oh, that's for Duck. Okay, so Duck is another member on the LPU server. I, let me see if this is openable. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll take a quick look at it. I believe this is, oh, it looks like more than that. So I gave him some gold bears too. And let's just take a quick look, because I already have the Isio Gera. I actually have an extra one that I was planning to sell. This is the one you can see on my channel that um, has the magnetic pin in it, and you actually have to do some kind of interesting stuff to get it picked. So let's close that back up. I'm sure you'll be excited to get that one, Duck. Here's something that's also for Duck. EPS, it's marked as, so... And it is sealed. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone because it's sealed new. So I'm, but it says EPS. So I'm gonna assume it's it's pretty much this right here in a much nicer version. Eva EPS um, padlock. Here's something Moon found just for me, locally for sale. Some Dom. I believe these are X tens. Let me get my knife to pop this open. This is cool because I believe. I'm finally starting to remember some of what's going on here. I believe these have a a black paint job. So, and I got them all new and well, not new. It's it was used. Yeah. So it's a black black or you could call it burnished bronze. But there we go. Big 
honking double euro. It's used for sure. Let's see if the other side looks pretty good. The other side looks pretty decent, but nice cool Dom X10 double euro with the box. I believe the key card is buried in there too. And if it isn't, who cares? Cause how cool is that? So, all right. There we go, got her back together. I'm running out of room here on this desk. I've been acquiring more and more locks and not picking enough of them to be honest, so. Here is something that those look like. Oh, those are just C-clips for me. Thanks a lot, Moon. This isn't even half the box, guys. There is much more. Bonus. Bonus? What? Bonus items? Moon. What do we got here? Uh-oh. Half euro of something. A Corona, it says on there. Corona. Some sort of pin tumbler lock. Thanks, Moon. That's awesome. I'm excited to mess around with that. Move the box off here in a minute once we get everything out of it. I'm just getting to the other half of it. Oh, yep. I think I remember this. So look at that. Um, this is how some of the Dom locks come. Because I actually have another one like this, but you see it has the key card with it bunches of keys so this is probably for a bunch of the stuff here you can see this key, this lock this key says eva on it i believe it spells the keyway in the key form and um so this probably is most of the keys for what i bought and then there is a switch lock in here this I, I actually don't remember at all some sort of dom switch lock i'm gonna say x5 kg or it's not an X10, so... Well, doi, maybe it says it right here. 411 key cylinder, plus three keys, I'm not sure. Let's look at this card. Oh, these cards probably for other stuff, so... Well, I'm not real sure. I think this is X5KG, but uh, that's pretty cool. Another Dom switch lock right there. Let's set that here and knock over all my locks. Yeah, this desk needed to get redone anyway. Too many locks stacked up. Let's see what we got here. Wait, let's see. Any writing on it? Nope. Oh, I was going to say it's a double euro, but it's two halves. Let's see. I've got Zeiss, two Zeiss Icon locks. Bowl pin tumbler of some sort. Can't even really remember, to be honest with you. Um, but one of my favorite things about uh, a good chunk of the Icon locks is uh, this for holding the, c the cylinder in, uh, the, the plug in, is um, how easily this comes off. You just pop that off and the whole thing just falls apart. So it's this metal sheet around here. It's just boop, pulls off and then both of these will come apart and it's just a two piece and a third piece, boom. So that's cool. All right. Oh guys, we aren't even close. Not even close. What does this say? D12, oh, oh my god, I forgot that I got a D12. That's funny, because I just bought a Ruko Grant Plus, which is basically a, no, am I thinking of DP12? Yeah, no, this is, I was thinking of DP11, actually. This is the D12, which I believe is closer to like a blue or a purple belt. Um, and I actually think the key is in here. I thought I saw it. I think that's the key for it. Let's see, does it have any... Oops, sorry, I hit my camera. So it doesn't have any sidebar bidding. So yeah, I was thinking of the DP11 for some reason and the Ruko Grant Plus. I always get it confused with this D12, but I just think it's a cool looking lock. Just real nice looking. And this is a cool format for it. So that's pretty slick. Ah, running out of room. Let's get my knife out of the way. Let's pull some more out. Told you guys, I've been waiting for this forever. I'm just so excited. Here's another uh, security card. This one for the EPSM. I collect the security cards, so I love that. Oh, this one's for me, and it is an EPS, but it doesn't say EPS. No, uh, it looks like Ducks just says EPS as well, so it looks like we both got the same thing here. Um, let's see what it is. Oh, I remember what it is, so Duck must have got one of these two. This is one of the things I was most excited about. This is a new EVA EPS. Look at this beautiful thing. Straight black. Look at that. 
that is beautiful. This one is actually not marked on this side, is it? Oh, good. I was going to say, I, I wanted the Eva marking on it. So we've got the Eva right there. Sorry about the focus there. Not the greatest. I believe it's a pin tumbler, but it's still so cool. I'm actually looking down it right now, and... Oh my god, you know what? Th this is the, um... This is the slider lock. Dude, I forgot you got me this. Thank you so much, Moon. This is so cool. See, he knows I like custom paint jobs on my locks because if they all cost extra, and it's just a really cool thing to add to the collection. I've got this burnished bronze, which I call black twin star. Uh, I have a brass, polished brass twin star. Um, I actually have a brass twin 6K cut euro, which sucks that it's cut, but is what it is and you know I, I've got a lot of brass and bronze locks that I just I just think it's cool because you don't see them all the time but are hard to get because they cost so much extra so you know it is what it is but yeah thank you for getting that for me Moon. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of this out and see if we can stack everything up here a little bit better. I don't know how you got all of this in this tiny box man. Let's try and do this and this this I just pulled a bunch more stuff out of the not a bunch more but a, some more stuff out of the box and we'll get a look at it with some more room right here so boom boom let's lay it all out all right box is empty so here is one of the things that I just popped and it says EC 550 but to be honest that just feels like keys I don't know if I actually bought a 550 from them or not Trying to do this in front of a camera is kind of hard. Alright. No, there is a lock in here. And, oop, hit the camera again. There is four keys in there. Abus EC550, I believe that is, then, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful. Another dimple lock. That's going to be a ton of fun. Then I have this big heavy beast right here, and it says 8 Keyless 6K Janus Bazi Eva WSW Harvest. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. Let's open this last one. This was a box inside of a box. All right, baby. All right, we pushed it up enough there. I'm just, uh, it's been a big deal. I've had a lot of big projects going on in life. Um, I do laser engraving for a living. I had a, uh, my biggest project of the year which that uh, uh, company who I work with locally, they ended up quadrupling their order this year. That's all great stuff. But outside of that, I've had a lot of little developments happen. And I, I worked on a group buy for um, some firearm related stuff that was a total of $20,000 people spent. And the stuff I shipped out, a chunk of it got stuck in my local sorting facility and these gentlemen spent a lot of money. They are very upset. So I'm working as hard as I can to make sure they get their stuff, but it's been a stressful endeavor. So I'm glad to have something to take my mind off it a little bit. Look at that, those are gin spools for a 6K. That's a full um, set of something. So thank you, thank you. There's even some master wafers in there. I'm sure that's just a gutted dealio. Let's see what this is. This is cool looking. BKS, okay, I think this is the BKS Janus. Yeah, I believe this is a, I believe it's a black belt lock or, or close to it. Um, and I can see from the back that it has, it looks like three, three, no, maybe four rows of pins. So that's a pretty cool, yeah, that's a pretty cool little piece of hardware. That's the first time I've seen that up close, so. You know, just always with the red, and same thing with MTL. They've got like red, green, yellow tabs you can put in their keys. Get some blue, you guys. Blue's my favorite color. Oh, here's another one that spells the keyway with, um, or spells something on the keyway in the key, but I can't read that for crap. So this says Bozzy, so I'm sure, here we go up this way, say Bozzy. I don't know, I'm having a tough time telling, but it definitely spells something with the keyway, so. It's not actually turning. Let's pull that out and try it. Oh, the other side was popped, so there we go. 
That's cool, just a pin tumbler lock. I told him I wanted to get a couple that uh, had spelled keyways. So whatever it is, I can see that this keyway looks like it's trying to spell something. So I think that's what that is anyway, but some sort of Fozzy lock. WSW, that's just the connecting hardware because I have two uh, Icon WSWs that uh, are, one of them is a five slider, which just has the five sliders on the left side. And one of them is a seven slider with five sliders on the left side and two sliders on the right. But both of them can be operated with the same key, which is super cool. And I'm gonna combine them into one um, lock. That's Eva combination hardware. Thanks again, Moon, for helping me out with some of this. I bought quite a lot of stuff for them. This, I believe uh, the rest of this is like keyless stuff that I bought just to add to my collection. There's a kind of an older looking, or at least to me, the mark for the Zeiss icon there was older looking and kind of a cool keyway, so I bought that. Here's a couple of cut halves, so just a Dom X5, one of the X5s, because that's a single row. Another Dom X5, single row. Ooh, Asa. It's got a sidebar, so this is probably one of the 6Ks. I'll just put it towards the front left there. Dom. X5. I think. All I know is it has a single row. BKS, what? Another BKS Janus, maybe? I'm not sure, but that's another BKS with four rows of pins. Maybe it's the other half to that. Let's see. Do I have it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Let's, uh see here because that'd be pretty cool no it's a completely different lock awesome so they look very similar actually that keyway looks right but why won't keep it it won't so eh, awesome I'll have to go over my list from back when I bought it this has been a long time coming there's a keyless Kiso of some sort um, looks like solid three rows of pins in there. Kiso locks love to kick my butt. X5, I believe, one of them. It's another single row. Oh, yeah, no, I talked about those two X5s. So let's see what we got here. This is a Dom X10 finned, looks like. Probably keyless as well. So I guess I read that top of that box wrong because I thought it said that there was like eight keyless oh it was eight keyless locks so there's a twin 6k janus bozzy eva and then the w said gotcha all righty man so let's take a rerun here quite a few doms We've got some kaba action bunch of icon stuff all the way from probably you know blue belt on up maybe even this one being you know probably green or orange because it's just a regular old pin tumbler Bunch of bunch of dom locks, bunch of doms. Um, this one I believe is that Bozzy lock. Yep, yep. This is that Abus EC550, which I can't remember why I wanted it, but uh, it's cool. And it is a uh, dimple lock. That's probably why I wanted it. So there's that. Stacking it all up here to show you kind of how much I got. Here was the C clips because I needed some of those. I tend to break them. Connecting hardware for WSW and EVA locks. Gin spools for a Twin 6K, which I'm super excited about. Um, I've been wanting to test out some gin spool action. A couple of BKS, one of them being a Janus, if I'm not mistaken. EVA, EPS, I believe. That Kiso lock. Duck, I believe in here, will be the exact same thing I got in my box. Uh, it sounds like he got one of the black uh, EPS as well, or at least a silver one if not. Um, so that's exciting. I'm so excited about that black uh, that black paint job on that. Uh, Duck got the Isio Gera Magnetic Lock. Congrats, Duck. Enjoy that. Some Haribo Gold Bears. Appreciate you. And then a bunch more Dom. We've got the black Dom X10, I think that was. And then we've got uh, this Dom X5 Switch Lock. Keys for all the locks I got. This EVA, I believe an EPS 
or might be a DPI slider lock because now I'm not so sure. I can't see anything past the bottom of that uh, pin and it could be the tip of a slider. So hell yes. And these, these padlocks, I've got a couple of other ones from another seller over in Germany to add some of those modular heroes to. So, oh, and the last thing would be that uh, D12 ASA that I think it's an ASA D12. So I just thought you guys might want to follow along with me as I unbox that. I've been really excited, waiting for this for a long time. You can see how much I got here. I'm hoping to get through some of this for videos. And like I said, also, I, I really wanted to acquire some more European locks for some some uh, US pickers. I know they're around, but you know, if I'm able to get a deal for somebody, love to do it. So uh, if anybody wants to see uh, one of these specifically picked, uh, if you got some interest in something, feel free to leave a comment. I'll, uh, I'll put one in the vice. Any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, I'm happy to hear it. You guys have a great day.